first of all bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, today our lecture is about the testing okay so for this testing we will make the relay burden test so before this uh, we have some uh, relay data and field data and mechanical and visual inspection checklist electrical te uh, tests checklist now first come to the relay data so it is the relay manufacturer name that is ZIV uh, some other ratings are given here rated voltage rated uh, voltage input output order code and up to frequency ok so all the informations are labeled here according to this range we will uh, follow these instructions ok uh, after this this is uh, field data CT ratio and VT ratio CT ratio here is uh, 1750 divided uh, over 5 amperes any primary is 1750 secondary side 5 amperes it will read like this VT ratio 33 kV and uh, uh, 110 ok mechanical and visual inspection checklist now before uh, any test it is advised to do the uh, mechanical and visual inspection checklist inspect for physical damage or defects so see here any any uh, defect we see here no if no we will make it okay now from back side can you go to the back side please <coughs> here see this also any damage no damage okay then inspect for equipment earth connection now where is earth yeah this one okay okay so our connections are also okay after this check tightness of all connection for example see tightened so all what we have checked already but it is just for the guidance we want to check few points it, is it okay or not so we have completed this section <coughs> after this electrical test checklists verify the DC source and loop any all this uh, just we have to uh, do before applying volts ok so verify the DC source and loop test switch plug checked for co uh, correct function in according to drawing it is connected according to drawing or not verify connections as per approved drawings same verify all back indication as per scheme set the clock as per the reference it is to be done by through software okay. after that we are going to the uh, next page can you give me the next page please back to the paper which is not filled no no not here now we will perform the relay burden test for relay burden test we have to go back to the drawing now just please one minute for the drawing now we will make connection according to the drawing this one is enough <coughs> now we will connect to this connections ok so from where they are coming R, Y, blue and neutral so now these are the VT circuits and these connections are from VT any R and why are connected to A1, A2 of our ZIV relay, okay, port and the test uh, switch used for that, that is TS1-1. I will show you here, TS1-1, this is our uh, test switch used for our ZIV relay 90-1. In this test switch, you can see here the points. R is connected to 22nd, Y is connected to 24th, blue is connected to 26th, and uh, neutral is connected to 28th. Now, if you want to check here, you can see. Yeah, just uh, show it clearly. This is connected to 22 R. Then it is blue is connected to 24th and this is connected to 26 and finally 
the last one is connected to 28. <coughs> Freezer, you can see it here, the other end. Show the other end, please. It is R, connected to, and it is the VT circuit, so it is connected to the voltage side. And Frija, this is the voltage side, this is the current side. R is connected to uh, the voltage side. Similarly, Y also, as you see in the drawing, it is connected to the uh, VT side. See here, this is connected to VD circuit. Now, after this, CD, any current. So that's why we connected blue to the current side. See it, show it here, please. This is blue, connected to the CD terminal. So that's why we connected to the uh, current side. And similarly, it is the neutral. Neutral, you can connect it here, here, or here. No problem. Now, after completing the connection side, now we have to inject according to the test format. <coughs> now, for relay burden, the uh, rated DC voltage will be 125 volt. So, first, what we have to do, simply, we will inject one 25 volt DC. Okay? Yes. Now, after this, yeah, we have made the arrangement for this. This is the DC supply in Frija box. DC supply. Okay? R and this is uh, neutral. We already measured it. It is applied as 125 volt. After this, we just, we have to check for DC in normal mode. DC current in normal mode. First step and negative. Yeah. You say R on neutral. Yeah, positive and negative, sorry. Should I repeat this? See, it is positive, this is negative. Okay? Already it is measured 125 volt DC. Now, Simply, what is the next step to follow is DC current in normal mode. So, go back to the ZIV relay. See here it is uh, locating a point like this. This. And even it is uh, hollow square, it means it is in normal. And when burden is applied down, and now, please show, it is down. So, it is uh, making uh, lower. If it is up, it is making uh, rise. Now, simply what we have to do, we have to inject. And after all these connections, make it sure the connections are okay. Simply what to do, inject. This is the start, inject. <coughs> now go back to the uh, relay side. Now you can see here, it is a hollow square. And a hollow square means we are now in normal. So simply we are norm, now here in normal, so through multimeter. Show it in multimeter please. Here you can see 0.163 DC amps. So simply it means uh, 163 163 milliamperes. Yeah, this is just the series connection. You can see it here. This is going to our ZIV relay. From ZIV relay, a series connection is coming here. And then it is going to our DC supply. So now, simply we will measure this value. Here it is to be exact 163 milliamperes. So just simply write it. In normal mode, 1. 63 milliamperes. After this, we will make rise or lower by Frija. Now, from diagram, 
from Frija, it is shown that now we are making operation. Any our ZIV relay is now in operation mode. It is making the command uh, rise. You can see. Now simply we will show you through multimeter C. Still same uh, milliamps, 163. Yeah. So by applying burden, 163 milliamps. Now just after this step we have some calculation. We will use calculator for this. Now, can you show it in the diagram, please, just to explain? DC volts is 125, and the amperes are 163 milliamps. Same for normal and uh, for operating mode. Now, 125. Uh, multiplied by zero Now you can see one VA and VA means uh, voltage multiplied by current. Here you can see the value 20.375. Just simply we will write here 20.375. Similarly, for this, you have to do again the same step 125 multiplied by. 0.163 amps it will give us the same value because in normal and operating uh, the current are same 20.37 this was what all about the relay burden now we have performed the relay burden test after this we have to go to the measurement check first we have to uh, measure the volt voltage measurement and then current measurement so simply we will apply voltage okay and from our ziv relay we will measure here and just we will uh, note these points now first we have to apply 100 volts so now this arrangement show you the 100 and the 10 volt AC. You can see it here by through multimeter. 100 volt AC. Now through Frija we applied 100 volt AC. Now we will go to our ZIV relay and note the reading. Yeah, ZIV relay. Now see here. 93 93.46 why this uh, we will explain this point because we have involved uh, three equipments here and one is ZIV our ZIV relay then Frija box and then our uh, multimeter so better is to avoid uh, more equipments it will uh, minimize our error so if we would have used uh, our Frija it would have given us around about uh, 99.98 or 9795 something like this but uh, here and you have to keep care of this mistake and here we have used this but you have to avoid In practical you have to avoid this don't uh, try to use because we have to minimize our time that's why we use this multimeter <coughs> now the next so simply you will write this value here okay then simply 110 volts AC so simply go to Frija go 
two to one can give hundred there are after that you will so in the previous uh, we make a mistake by involving multimeter we have uh, any make it sphere now see the new arrangements after this we applied 100 volt so simply we will go back to our ZIV relay and uh, now you can see the uh, preciseness 99.96 now this is very uh, any acceptable go okay after this 99.96 we have to write the value for applying 100 volt AC and taking the reading from our ZIV relay it comes 99.96 volts now similarly we will apply 100 and 10 volts and 100 and 20 volts and then we will write those values okay. so uh, uh, no problem if we use the multimeter and uh, if we use the freak but better we use direct freak yeah to minimize the error mm -hmm. okay need to 110 and 120 or now simply apply 110 volts applying 110 volts go back to ZIV please now you can see the reading here 109.95 or 96 now we will take 96 we simply write 109.96 volts now take reading for 110 now we injected 120 volt AC we will take the reading from our ZIV relay what it's taking 119.95 we will write it 119.96 volts inject current for 1 ampere what's the reading for 3 amps, 3 amps and similarly for 5 amps what are the current magnitude measured so simply we will write those values okay we go back to the previous and is the same connection according to our drawing yeah, so here it is r this is y okay so simple the we back to the our drawing scheme connections according to our drawing now see here as i explained we have to imply uh, sorry we have to apply one amp yes yes See, this is red, this is yellow, okay. in according to drawing. Okay. Now, show it here, please. One ampere. One ampere. Go to Frija. We have applied one ampere. And just, we have to go to status. And in status, metering. Metering, okay. We open metering. metering current single phase yeah. inject. inject one ampere and see the readings here you can see 349.461 or up to maximum limits it is uh, reaching 487 any 349.0 so if please just let me to explain this point here you can see seven fifty four five one seven fifty so now yeah. if you divide one seven five zero divide by 5 if it will give you 350 
so it means that 350 will be read as 1 ampere okay so now here we have applied 1 ampere so if it is giving us the value 350 up to 350 it's reaching see here 349.477 so just we will write this value if the value is Three forty nine point four seven seven. Now, simply for three ampere, apply three amps. Now the applied amps are 3. Go to the reading 1.049 kilo ampere. So now we will write 1.049 kilo ampere. Why? Yeah, I will explain this by formula. As we show you in the okay, so one seven five zero here five okay. One seven five zero divided by five, it will give you. 350 amps. Show it this please. When you apply 1 ampere, it will give you 350 ampere. Now, three. now we have applied 3. So by simply applying the formula 1750 here 5, here what you need, and here 3 you applied. Okay? by calculating this you will get 175 1750 multiply by 3 divide by 5 Seven five zero multiply by three divided by five one zero five zero or one point zero four nine or five zero. You can see here the value we have written already one point zero four nine kilo amps. <coughs> now applying the same formula, we will inject five amperes. Can you see it here? After this, we will apply uh, five amps. So go to free jar. Now we have applied five amps. Go to metering and measure the value. It is one point seven four nine kilo amps. You can see it here as well. 1.749 kilo amps. Just we will write this. 1.49 kilo amps. That's how we will perform the current measurement test. After that, simply phase angle measurement. How to perform the phase angle measurement test? Simply we will apply 110 volt AC, 5 
ampere injected current which is already here and uh, we will measure the phase angle now for uh, phase angle measurement we make the arrangements ok now we will explain this point later that why we reverse these connections in a way uh, we put uh, blue here and uh, black here we will make uh, a circuit diagram for explaining this point now show the reading please here it is 270.2 so we will write here measured phase angle is 270.2 degree now <coughs> I will explain this point now for this arrangement you can see the power factor our factor showing here is minus 1 so it means that uh, any our connection is reversed and when power factor is coming uh, negative it means that our connection is reversed if it is coming positive it means that our connections are okay so we will explain this point by means of or the sitting maybe it's the yeah, this this problem may be due to sittings or maybe due to uh, uh, connection connection yes so for settings see here the degree is 90 90 so from setting this is okay if we make any 270 here then it will come uh, any 270 there it means that uh, the, there is a uh, wrong in the uh, settings if the connections are reversed so means uh, we have to uh, show it by means of uh, connections but before this uh, go to the drawing and see the drawing what's written in the drawings see here <coughs> This S1 is connected to neutral and going to a four point of our ZIV relay. Okay, and S2 B any blue phase uh, blue and going to a three point. So it means that uh, our connections are reversed. Now we will explain this point. okay and uh, they are in phase and this is IR current in phase IY and this I w. now we have injected to uh, Y and R so simply we will make this arrangement Y B and this is <coughs> so now if we uh, resolve this become Yeah, very good. So now this is the vector sum of <coughs> sorry.
sorry. This is the vector sum of uh, R and Y. Now, we will measure the angle between this IB and this VRY. So, here it is 30 degree, this is 30 degree, and this remaining is 60 degree. So, now you can see here, this 60 plus 30, it will give us the angle between IB and VRY. So it is like this. This becomes 90 degree. So if your connection is like if your connection is like this to your ZIV relay <coughs> this is first case. Any, it means that this connection is for this. Now, if your connection reversed, we will use the red ball point to show this. Second case. If S2 is connected to a 3 point of our ZIV relay and S1 is connected to a 4 of ZIV relay, then what happens here in the diagram? I will explain this point. See here the current direction will be reversed. Any means now our current direction will be like this. Now for this connection, this is our current direction. Now, <coughs> simply we have to measure the angle for this. See here, this is already we measured 90 degree. And when the current direction reverses, it makes it 180. And uh, now the total between this and this point is become 180 plus this 90 degree. So now angle will be equal to 180 plus 90 degree. So it totally makes up to 270 degree. So now So this is the total angle now measured. 180 plus 90 degree is equal to 270 when the connections are reversed. Now the sixth uh, test is the bandwidth check. For bandwidth check we will have a set value of 1 1 10 volts. We will now we will explain it according to the ZIV pump. See here 1 1 10 we will uh, make it 100%. 100%. You can see here current value is 100%. Okay. Now, come to the this piece. Here, we will perform different bandwidth tests. Set bandwidth, first we will check by 1%. Okay. And for 1%, we will write the raise and lower values. Now, see here, show here, please. Make it 1%. 1 and enter. Then send. Now you can see from the ZIV. Updating CID. And you just we make the changes and data are being updated now.
after this updation finished we will see the values okay we will start any means uh, voltage is now injected first we will come to the normal so for that we need to uh, decrease I mean decreasing here and you can see it from uh, the LCD of ZIV now it is in normal ok so I will decrease normal mean uh, square empty square yeah square, when square is empty hollow square it means uh, we are in normal operation mode ok now We will decrease until this square comes with a down arrow, uh, down arrow. Now you can see here one zero eight point eight seven. Now read the value one zero eight point eight seven. Now we will write this value in raise column. One zero eight point eight seven. Okay. Yes. <coughs> now we will <coughs> increase until the up arrow sign comes. Show it, please. Now we are in normal. By further increase until the up arrow sign comes. Again, this setting is for one person. Any bandwidth, bandwidth is up to one person. Why is there time? Read the value that is 111.06. We'll write here for lower 1 11.06 volt. Now we have the formula for bandwidth. We will use this formula by using Excel. Now in Excel page here. Tell me the value please. One. 8.87 and lower 111.06 enter and read the value now you can see 0 0.996 any this one is the approximate 0 0.996 very near to one person very near to one person now simply we will repeat these steps for two percent and three percent 
ओके सिंपली नाउ टू परसेंट टू इंटर देन सेंट नाउ शो इट इन दिन सी डी ऑफ जेड आई वी इट इज अपडेटिंग बिकॉज वी मे चेंज इन सॉफ्टवेयर एंड देट आर देट आर बींग नाउ सेंट टू आवर जेड आई वी रिले Seventh is the timer check. What we have to check here, any yani the timing for ZIV relay to take action for raise or lower. Okay. For example, I will explain this. For example, we have make it um, uh, for one percent. Huh? Our cycle should be like this. now if there is increase in this area and if this limit is crossed for example we are in this range then we need to lower the tapping to come to this level all what we need to be in this these limits eh? we need to be in these limits so if we go beyond this limit or this limit so our zdi zdiv relay needs to take an action so for example this timing test is all about this dealing with these areas sorry this now we will make t1 take action for example after 10 seconds okay if you are in this range take action after 10 seconds <coughs> by making arrangement for 1% if it is comes to this level it will take action yes. for lowering lowering the tape yes. okay so the timing test is all about this <laughs> simply first we will set the time t1 10 seconds for raise or lowering the command so we have the arrangement like this for in freezer you are at page number 2 okay and we will inject now you can see here the time is 10.54 seconds now what 0.54 is 0.5 uh, 0.54 second delay to react this is just the time for zdiv relay to check the time to arrange with himself and to check uh, around himself we will go to the page number 1 now you can see here it is 63.5 okay so now this 63.5 is in the normal range okay See here, normal. In square, when square is hollow, it showing the normal. Now, we will stop and go to the third page. Now, in third page, we will make it up to sixty cycles. Okay, and then inject.
now you can see the value is 10.07 seconds we will just try this value Point zero seven seconds. This is for command. Uh, this is for raise. Now again, we will inject and will take time for uh, lower. Now we will make for thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Enter and send. Inject. <coughs> First, let the uh, inject. Now from the third page you can see 30.08 seconds. Last one. Now for 50 seconds. Enter and send. Then inject. It is fifty point zero nine seconds. We write fifty point zero nine seconds. And this was thirty point zero point zero eight seconds. This was for raise. Exactly. We will follow the same procedure for lower. Go to page number two, okay, and make changes until start. Now we are in normal. Now it goes to the uh, lower state. So simply pitch fifty point one one second. And this is the time for raising the command. So no problem, right here. What's near in here? Now we will do the same for 30 seconds and 10 seconds. Now we will make change here 30. Send and start. Note the value 30.36 seconds. Thirty point three six seconds. Similar procedure will be followed for making ten seconds. Enter and send.
is the value 10 so better we wait one seven time. yeah the better is to wait uh, the ZID relay uh, to update after that inject the current okay. The next test, uh, test is the timer T1 for inverse time. Now what does inverse time means? Come to the uh, relay. Uh, see here we can press in here. We can get two options here. You can see clearly inverse and uh, definite time. So we are making for this we are select here inverse. Now come here time factor okay 2 6 and 8 we will check it for here you can see here time factor for inverse curve 2 and then we will change accordingly then expected value expected value for this is 20 seconds for this 6 is 60 seconds for 8 it is 80 seconds <coughs> now come to the formula please show it clearly what's the formula 30 is constant okay this is the uh, time factor if it is we select 2 we will put here 2 then bandwidth in percent divided by bandwidth is one. see here bandwidth 1% 2% 3% you have to select here ok then divide by deviation now what this deviation means and for example if <coughs> our value is 1 1 10 volts ok so by selecting it 1% it means 1 1 1 point 1 or 1 0 8 point 9 and these are the limitations this deviation means this. if it is 2% then it is one uh, one one two point two or uh, one zero uh, seven point nine. So, sorry, one zero seven point eight. Okay, to be exact. And similarly for three percent. Okay. Okay. So <coughs> thirty divided by uh, into multiply by two. Yeah. Sixty. Yeah. Multiply by one. Mm. Uh, yeah, yani sixty mm. divided by three mm. and come to twenty. Mm. So the expected value is 20. Okay. Now as I explain this formula, we will just calculate 30 multiplied by we will kept uh, for, for example for this huh, it will be 2. We will keep it 1. Okay. Then deviation is if uh, one person, okay, or for three, three uh, division three for three person. Okay. So what does it comes? Sixty. Yeah. You can see it here. Expected value twenty seconds. Yeah. Now we will. <coughs>
here you can see the expected value was 20 seconds but here the value is 30.05 seconds now we will explain this <coughs> come here now for definite time t1 if you can see the current value is 30 and here our arrangement it should be 20 seconds so there is uh, any this is the limitations of our ZIV relay and we need to make change here for this we need to make it lower than our expected value for example if we consider it 10 enter send you can see it here 19.09 seconds it's lower formula for 6 factor 6 the expected value is 60 seconds can be calculated by using the same formula by putting 4 here only make 4 it will give us 60 seconds or We have changed this value from 2 to 6. So according to the formula it should take 60 seconds for lowering the command. You can see it here 59.12 seconds. Third is for eight and keeping time factor eight seconds. Make it eight. Okay. Enter send. Now by using the same formula ft equal to eight, it should give us the value of 80 seconds expected value should be 80 seconds
Yeah, say this thing. One minute. This thing. <laughs> you can see it here. Seven to nine point three. Seven. Uh, one minute and nineteen point three second. It make us totally seventy nine point three. Much nearer to our expected value. So we will write this value. Seventy nine point three. Three seconds. Now, the next step we have to do for uh, raising the command. So we have to make adjustment in the voltage. Any one one ten volt. So if it is plus three percent, so then it will be equal to one one three point three volt. That's just we make for this. Now for minus three percent, this value will be one zero six point three. One zero six point seven. One zero six point seven volt. So we will inject one zero six point. Deviation three percent. You can see here the value. Voltage to raise one zero six point seven volt. Now the freezer. We will make it go to the second page. Okay. Start. Now the IV relay. Now you can see here the value. One. This uh, notebook, yeah, sixty-seven. Something wrong in our division. One zero six point seven zero. It is one zero six point seven zero. One zero six point seven zero. You can see it by formula. Start the timer. Now you can see. One minute and nineteen point nine. Any means. Seventy nine point nine. Excellent. We will write it here. Seventy nine point nine seconds. Similarly, for keeping F T six. Okay. Send. Fifty-nine point seven four. Expected was sixty, so we will write this value. Fifty-nine point seven four seconds. And similarly, keeping FT two.
can see the value 19.68 and the expected was 20 so we will write here 19.68 seconds now you can see the values for raise and lower with expected values The seventh test is uh, the timer T2, definite time. This is only for definite, okay? No uh, inverse in this T2. Now you can see it here, inverse, uh, sorry, definite time T1 and T2. What does, t, uh, what does this T1 and T2 means? T1, for example, it is one second. So T2 will start when one second is passed. Yeah. T2 action is after T1. So mm -hmm. T2 will take action when the T1 time uh, got passed. So we will make T2 2 seconds, 6 seconds and 10 seconds and then we will measure the readings. I will make this 1 second and one. this 2 seconds. Okay. Why you make one second? T one. Yeah, T one is uh, to take uh, time in the first section. T one. After that, T two starts. Two seconds. Okay. Enter. Send. Please start the feature. Reset. Now you can see it here. What's this connection? This connection is for uh, the T1 and T2. You can see it here. This is for T1. Okay. So what's this output? Configure what? Hmm? Into configuration. Is this one configured or what? This this uh, configuring T1 time. Yani after what? Yani when time T1 finish? One seconds. The according what? Didn't get your point in here. You can see it here. This is for raise and lower. Okay. Ah, uh, this configure raise yeah, and this raise, one lower. This one lower. Yeah, yeah. And this is common. This okay. Is okay. This is the arrangement for T1. And for raise and lower for T1. After this, this will take start. Uh, this is used for. This is used for raise. This is used for lowering the command okay for t1 or t2 or t2 or t2 yes okay yes now what will happen uh, t2 starts when t1 finished yeah. okay yeah t2 starts when t1 finished yes. now here we have used this contact you can see normally closed and it means that when t1 time finished it will becomes normally open ah. and it will start the, the this file. this one yeah until it becomes normally closed to stop the time to stop the time t2 again uh, you will give another value or another value yeah and now we'll finish the uh, two yeah, finish this time one yeah for two seconds now the next value uh, to inject uh, six yeah okay Enter and send. Okay, change. Okay, change to eight. Yes. Next is test for eight seconds. Okay. Enter, send, and start. Eight seconds. Okay. So the expected values and 
the time what uh, what we measured for raise or lower Bismillahirrahmanirrahim in the continuation of the previous lectures uh, we finished uh, previous lecture for timing uh, timer t2 uh, definite time okay so today inshallah we will continue from uh, for blocking protection functions in this first we will perform the test for under voltage blocking so for that we nominal should be 110 volts and then we will make the setting through freeja and by using zewer complex uh, zewer complex uh, software to communicate with our ziv relay we will make setting accordingly now what we have to check here we have to check first for 90 percent any under voltage settings in 90 percent then 80 then 70 percent and for this the according value should be set uh, any the nominal should be set like 110 so it will come for 90 percent it will come 99 volts so for first test we have to set it 99 volts then 88 volts and then 77 volts for uh, 70 percent <coughs> now come to the zero complex software now you can see here we have set the value 70 70 means that we will inject now 77 volts now you also will come to first to this lockout limits you have to select this and here then you will uh, accordingly in what you want to test for example 90 percent 80 percent or 70 percent so first we will check it for uh, 70 percent so i will uh, just come to this point uh, see here we will uh, blockage by minimum voltage now you can see the red LED here why it is red because we according to our settings we will inject 77 volts if it is in the uh, limits of under voltage this LED will become red now we will inject Okay, you can see the LED now not red so just gradually go to the LED please okay now you can see we will gradually reduce the voltage until until the limits comes now you will see here the second blockage by minimum voltage now as i reach those limits it will become red Now you can see here the LED become red and he showing us this and after uh, 10 seconds our freezer also gets stopped. Now in drawings I will show you this point 
now you can see here es1-1 2 and 4 these are the uh, connections used uh, any for uh, examining the over under voltage over current and over voltage blockage okay now we are here okay showing the setting please okay now it is uh, also become red block automatic raise operation and block automatic lower operation and uh, this after this uh, we have the user settings you can see it user setting we have for under voltage we, sorry we will come to this point now you can see according to our settings it will take 10 seconds so as you examined and as you saw observed the free jar stops after 9.34 seconds so we will just write this value we will put new value yeah now we will put a new value now we will make it for 80% Unlock it on. Percent. Eighty-eight volts. you can see the LED become red and same block automatic raise operation and block uh, automatic lower operation can observe the time 9.71 seconds hmm, now you can see 9 is on the whole theory yeah okay Make it for ninety percent. Enter, send. comes right now you can see here and then after 10 seconds it should stop yeah 10.04 seconds uh, the freezer gets stopped here we will uh, test for uh, over voltage alarm nominal voltage uh, same 110 volts now first we will do 120% uh, of uh, 110 volts 
that becomes the value 132 for this we will check uh, the uh, alarm and then simply for 125 percent that is the voltage we will inject uh, through freezer 137.5 volts and then we will check the values now first inject uh, 132 please go to metering ok metering this one yeah ok one. ok now 132 volts we will inject 132 volts enter send ok Now you can see here the third LED. The third, yeah, it is red now. Okay, so we will pick this value. Now, as you can see, it is 131.93 volts. Now, similarly, we will inject 137.5 here. Okay, 137. So, 137.5 meter cent. ZIV relay to update because new settings has been sent to our ZIV relay. Yeah, increase, increase, increase. Okay, okay, slight increase. Four seven. Now you can see here one thirty seven point four five for one thirty seven point five and show it in the LED, please. The third LED, you can see. Yeah, it's become red. So we make green means uh, uh, over voltage alarm. This is for over voltage alarm. Now the next uh, test which we will perform is for over current blocking. For this the nominal uh, current is 5 ampere. So we will slowly and gradually increase the current. First we will inject by 105 percent. That makes it 5.25. Uh, so first we will inject uh, the current 5.25 and we will uh, measure uh, the pickup value. Okay. Then we will uh, increase by 110 percent. That makes it 5.5 amps. Then 120 percent. That makes it 6 amperes. And similarly, we will in, in, uh, measure the pickup value for these three. Okay. Settings. voltage regulator lockout limits ok first we will inject for 105 percent as I told ok so you can see the settings it is 105 percent we will send ok no difference between actual and new values means the settings are ok just we will inject now
pitch by maximum current. Now you can see this red negative means a blockage by maximum current. We'll just uh, pick this value. That is one zero. Uh, sorry, five point two four six amps. So we will just simply write five point two four six amps. Similarly, five point five. Go to this please. Yeah, one uh, ten percent. Okay, same. Okay. Go to voltage. Uh, second one. Sec okay. Send. Yeah. Same project. Okay. Now increase the current. Five point five. Show it blockage by maximum current. Now you can see here the LED becomes red. And these points also any block automatic raise operation and block automatic lower operation. Any no raise and no lower. You will just pick this value that is 5.499. Any for 5.5, the value is 5.4 double nine amps now just simply we will uh, apply 120 percent that is six amps and we will pick the value 120 percent send okay come to here now you can see here LED becomes red we will pick this value that is 5.998 show it here please That is exactly six amps. The next uh, test we will uh, do for line drop compensation check. Line drop compensation is uh, it is explained uh, from uh, his board. And you mean some compensation due to drop occur in the line so we will apply some formulas to make our new values okay so for that the formula is that voltage for compensation okay is equal to V constant and V constant is Y V nominal 110 volts okay plus LDCR okay and this is the formula simply we have to follow this formula okay so for this formula uh, using uh, uh, r parameter and x parameter and then we will do it for z parameter so first we will perform it for r and x parameters so the x r and x parameters we will use are already provided by this table and then we will change the angle accordingly and we will keep the current constant is it is 5 amps these are the expected value which are being derived from this formula by using this formula we calculated this expected value now against this expected value 
we will find out the new set values okay so come to the software please compensations voltage regulator then compensations okay yes then select uh, r and x ldc r and x because we are performing the test for r and x parameters so this is r parameter this is x parameter make changes accordingly 0 0 okay send okay yes, it is being set it already to metering voltage set point voltage set point by percentage okay see this way this showing the angle so is uh, angle is zero for this see show it here so first the angle is zero so we have kept this as zero now we'll write just write this value and check it for raise and lower you can see here 110 volts so we will write it 110 volts now we will check it for raise and lower command. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so it's exactly come 110 volts. Okay, now check for raise and lower. Now you can see a hollow square, it means we are in normal. Now we will uh, check it for uh, lower. Yeah, you can see it here uh, in the LED screen. Double one pointer. Here we examine that is double one point one six. One six. Now it is or lower. Now our command is to be raised tapping need to be raised that is one zero eight point double eight so then simply for making angle 90 degree here come to this point please on the three setting this to be changed okay make it 90 degree the current angle the current angle is now 90 okay hundred percent okay because uh, r and x is zero r and x here are zero okay now you can uh, measure this value Yeah. You can see this values now. Now we will make uh, R parameter 5 and X parameter 0. Okay, send. Okay, now you can see for a uh, uh, change in the R parameter it becomes 100.05 percent for so calculate 105 multiplied by 1110 divided by 100 
so 115.5 volts sorry it uh, is 115 okay Here you can see, let's show it here, the angle is 90, okay, so come to the table please, now we have changed our parameter 5, x parameter is still 0 and angle is 90 degree, so it should be 110, the uh, expected, so what we measured, that is 110.044 volts, okay, for, okay, for raise and low, just make it normal. Normal now, yeah, double one, double one point one eight. One eight. Okay, one. okay, and for uh, raise, okay, that is one zero one zero eight point zero two volts. Okay. Then making angle zero, come to this point, make it zero, okay, now you can see here, 104.53, for line, drop compensation R and X parameter making angle uh, 0 keep uh, R parameter 5 X parameter 0 now we will calculate for this it becomes the expected is uh, 115 volts and now for uh, the observed value is 114.983 volts so simply first we will write here 114.983 volts now for raise and lower Make it normal. Okay. Now you can see for lowering the command, it is one one six point one eight volts. For raise, okay, one one three point double nine. Okay. Now the next step is making R parameter. 0 x parameter minus 5 minus 5 ok send ok and simply the angle is here here is 0 1 1 1 100.08 percent ok multiplied by 1 1 10 divided by 100 1 110.088 show it here 0 0.088 1 double eight. now show the angle here please come to this point the angle is now 0 come to the table for this now we will check the rest and make it normal, hollow square, then, okay, measure this value, 111.2, for a raise command, it is 108.68 volts, okay, so now, here we will make angle 90 degree. Ninety degree. Okay. Inject. Okay. Come to here. Now you can see for uh, uh, making angle 90, it becomes 104.53 of nominal. So make calculation 10. 4.53 multiplied by 110 divided by 100 it becomes 
114.983 the expected was uh, 115 volts so we will note this value now show it for uh, raise and load command it is 113.76 so okay. just simply we will write these values you can see it in the table we already performed this okay now we will do the line drop compensation for z parameter so simply go to settings in the zero comp plus okay here we have two options ldc z and ldc r by x r by x performed already now select this one ok and make changes according to the table first make it 0 for making it 0 it is 100% so simply write 1110 volts Show it in the here, please. The expected is 1110, and uh, the new set point value becomes the measured value becomes 1110 volts. Show it for raise and lower. Go to the ZIV relay LCD. Okay, now it is normal. Uh, for lowering the command, it is 111.17. Show these values 108.75 volts for raise command and 111.17 volts for lower command. Now we will check it for make uh, 5 according to the table. Send ok so 104.99 104.99 multiplied by 110 divided by 100 it makes 115.489 show it here please Come to the table one one. Okay, raise and lower command check. Make it normal. Okay, lower. The lower value is lowering the command value is one one six point double seven. Okay, raise command. 114.13 Now, just I have written the recorded value Ok, lower raise Yeah, now, last uh, Simply make uh, Z parameter 10. Z parameter 10. Okay. Send. Send. Okay. Show it here. 109.99. Okay. Calculate according to this by calculator 109.99 multiplied by 110 divided by 100 
120.989 you can see show for raise and low that i we relay lcd normal now okay for lowering command it is 122.26 for raise Show it here. For raise command, it becomes double one nine point seven three volts, and for lower, it is one two two point two six volts. Now we will show the digital inputs. Okay, so from table you can see input one belongs to uh, which points E eight. And E seven of our ZIV relay. Now show it in the drawing. E seven negative, E eight positive. So when it will get positive at E eight point, it will change the status. Okay. And uh, similarly, if show it here, when AVC is in CR, AVC in CR means it will get energized. And E eight will get energized, and our input one will change the status. And show it here. When A V C is in E uh, E R C C or R C C, okay, it will get energized through F eight and F six. And input eight will change the status. Now, first I will show you here. First, you have to press F three. now it will show you digital inputs now you can examine the inputs now show it here we are avc is now in how many inputs here yeah here uh, totally 25 inputs now 12 are shown here but having down arrow you can see this down arrow just press this down arrow show it here again see 16 then again down 20 Again, twenty-four, twenty-five digital inputs. Okay. Now we will examine the first and eight. Now, as I show you in the drawings, the digital uh, input one is now de-energized because show it here. We are now AVC is in RCC mode. Okay. So. first input is not energized and show it the eight now you can see here it is energized when i will change this according to the drawing now show it here the first digital input changed and now it energized it means that show it in the drawing please it means that e8 is now given energy and negative always here for e7 so this will change the status as you saw it in the lcd screen now uh, go to the drawing please i will explain it uh, for the input 2 now what the logic uh, input 2 will follow just see it this one when e10 will get positive and e9 already in connection with input 2 so it always having negative so for this we have to check the logic come here avc in auto so when will we when we make avc in auto mode it will get energy okay input 2 will get energy it will change its status show it here <coughs> now you can see the input 2 not energized i will just make it in which auto avc and auto 
ए बी सी पुश बटन ऑटो नाउ यू कैन सी द स्टेटस हैज बीन चेंज यानी टू इज नाउ एनर्जाइज ओके सिमिलरली द पैटर्न इज फॉलो फॉर ऑल ट्वेंटी फाइव इनपुट्स बाय फॉलोइंग द ड्राइंग You can also observe this from zero com plus. Zero com plus is facilitating us to uh, examine all the inputs and outputs. Go to status. Okay, inputs. Status. Okay, you can see it here. Okay. Show it with, uh, with LCD and this compare. Okay, digital input one, red. Show it there. You can see it here. Digital input one also, any energized. Yes. Okay. Input two, here, red means energized. Show it there in the ZIV uh, relay LCD. Now you can see the input two is already energized. So similar is the pattern. And if you want to examine it through zero complex. it is facilitating you okay and at the same time you can examine it by our zdiv relay lcd screen thank you see push auto The status changed. Make it in uh, ECC mode. Here, this one is energized. Making ECC, it got de-energized, and input eight, digital input eight, got energized.